Hello everyone, welcome back to Books with Sakshi. I hope you are doing great. In today's video, I am going to talk about second book in the Bridgerton series and the book is The Viscount Who Loved Me. Already uh, Netflix has released it, its adaptation in season 2 and so in this video as well I'm just going to share my thoughts about what I felt after reading the book and watching season 2 on Netflix. So see here's the thing I have already made one video dedicated to book one in the series and uh, season one of Bridgerton on Netflix and uh, you can go and watch it if you haven't already and it hasn't received a good response to be honest I just don't know why so maybe if you can go and check that video and let me know your thoughts if you have read or watched Bridgerton's. And so coming back to this video, I really liked reading the book to start with. I really liked reading the book and uh, I really did not enjoy season 2 honestly because I just don't know. Uh, because in season 1, I was very obsessed with Daphne and Simon but in season 2, um, I'm not saying I hated it but it's also like you know it was not a wow factor for me now now I know that you know there are like a lot of Bridgerton fans and there are a lot of fans of you know Kate and Anthony so I know all those things but don't come to me <laughs> there was something that just did not connect with me I don't know what but that something was present in uh, season one where Daphne and Simon's story was there so I watched season 2 completely and you know I kind of binge watched it so it's not that I hated it totally but overall it was like okay for me so then I finally decided to read the books you know in the same order like book 1, book 2, book 3 and so on and so I finished book 2 and I really loved it. The book is so 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 I mean like I would say it's uh, 100 times better than the show for me. And and while I was reading the book, I was, you know, constantly thinking that Netflix has done like a lot of changes in the show. Like almost they have changed 95% of the things and they have only, you know, kept 5% original stuff that was present in the book. I mean, like they have even done massive plot changes. And um, for obvious reasons, I cannot give you spoilers here by telling you what changes they have made unless you have read or watched it. Uh, so you can also, you know, come to my Instagram, which is with the same handle, Books with Sakshi. And, you know, you can talk to me, you can discuss about it. I would just you know, love to discuss it if you have read the book as well as watched Netflix adaptation. So we can have this discussion. But here I cannot give you spoilers. So I was very shocked because in season one, uh, which is like Daphne and Simon's story, they have not done many changes. Like at least they have kept the major things as it is in the book and they have done slight changes only that are like negligible. But in book two, oh my God, like they have done such, such, such major changes that it completely changed the story. I mean, like they have just, it just felt like they have taken the characters from the book and then they made their, you know, um, all together a different story. Um, but I'm not saying that I'm disappointed or, or anything because Netflix adaptation is equally appealing when you watch it and book is also appealing when you read it. So, you know, it also depends on that. So I watched Netflix adaptation first and then I came to books but still I'm liking the books way more better now. If you have already watched the video of book one which I have uh, posted on my channel then you already know that how much I loved that book right but this book uh, the Viscount who loved me I loved it a little more than book one. And so, you know, it's totally surprising even for me because, you know, I didn't like season two at all that much. Uh, but I liked its book so much more than, you know, Daphne and Simon's story. Because, you know, there's a different level of maturity. There's like vulnerability. There are emotions. There is drama. And, you know, it the book just somehow connected me with it. And I was really not expecting. I had no expectations because I was thinking that, you know, maybe I did not like the season two so i'm not going to enjoy the story as well but i was totally wrong about it and maybe also because you know i literally had no expectations uh, like you know uh, i'm going to like it so much or you know how it's going to be so it was you know just neutral for me when i started other than that i didn't connect 
personally with characters like Kate and Anthony and Edwin. Uh, these three are the major characters of um, season two and book two. And but when I was reading the book, I could very well, you know, connect with Anthony's character because he, you know, um, the author very well portrays his vulnerabilities, his fears, his in insecurities, something uh, you don't get a glimpse of in the show for obvious reasons because they cannot sh tell you each and everything. And that is why, you know, books are much, much better, better because you get insight into the character's mind. And, you know, like the author literally has like a lot of time to develop everything and build everything properly so that readers can connect. But um, uh, show shows and movies have limited time so if they do it well then it's fine but if they don't then that's another case and the character of Kate was also something I didn't like in the show I just don't know like I really just did not like her character in the show but while reading the book I just loved her character equally and character of Edwina is very you know like um like naive and innocent kind of a person in the show but you know that's not how she is portrayed in the book to be honest well, she's very innocent and you know kind and naive and all those stuff but at least she's not what they have portrayed her in the show so you know there are like lot of drastic changes in the character's personality in the story first of all the the main thing is the story they have done like major changes we just cannot ignore that so yeah i guess that's the thing uh, like we can't do anything but uh, this series which i'm actually you know making now which is like bridgerton series where i'm going to talk about all the bridgerton books um is basically because i just loved it and i'm reading all the books in the series and i just want to you know talk about each one of them and you know know your thoughts if you guys are reading it too so currently I'm on book four and book three is also done, which is Benedict's story. If you have watched the adaptation, you already know who Bene Benedict is. And he is um, one of the siblings of Bridgerton's and uh, I'll be very soon back with a video dedicated to that book. And I hope you watch that. And, and now I'm reading book four in the Bridgerton series, which is the story of Colin and uh, so that is it for today's video i really hope you enjoyed it i'm going to make this complete playlist where you will find all the videos that i'm going to upload of Bridgerton, and uh, you can watch them anytime you like if you like this video please give this video a thumbs up and also do subscribe to my channel if you're new here do share it with your reader friends who like to read who like to you know watch videos related to books i would be so grateful for that until next time, take care and keep reading.